Hi everyone. We more or less all know that mushroom is very profitable business with low investment. Generally, mushroom farmers do not use the wastage after mushroom production. As because maybe they do not know the benefits of that waste or maybe they do not aware of that. In reality, one can earn money from that mushroom waste. Today, we are going to learn about the compost making process from the mushroom waste. So, do not skip the video if you really want to know the process of compost making. What is mushroom waste? After production of mushrooms, some compost or substrate will still be there in bags and it may not be economical or possible to get more mushrooms from this remaining material. This is referred as spent mushroom substrate SMS. Every kg of mushroom produced results in generation of 5 to 6 kilograms of SMS. The quality of this byproduct will vary with the mushroom species. For example, straw is well composted for cultivation of button mushroom. Uncomposted straw is also used for oyster. Saw dust is used for shiitake, wood ear mushroom, flamulina, etc. Accordingly, the traits and composition of SMS will vary in different mushrooms. Benefits Fortunately, SMS has many positive attributes still left for its potential uses. The material has been found to be a good nutrient source for field and horticultural crops because of its nutrient status. SMS can be used for organic farming and can be processed into valuable products and we can earn benefit for ourselves and also for the environment. Mushroom cultivation offers a unique opportunity to recycle crop wastes for production of quality food, followed by manure production or other modes of complete recycling of wastes. Thus, we do not only get quality health food using waste, but we also promote organic cultivation. The only drawback of SMS is that it has more salts and hence it may be used after leaching or may not be incorporated in the same field year after year when it is to be used as manure or soil amendment. When the substrate is removed from the cultivation room, it may not be used immediately, but we may compost or leach for further improvement of the physical and chemical characteristics of the material. Use of SMS SMS is rich in NPK and is a good substitute to farmyard manure. Agaricus SMS is incorporated, preferably after compositing, for a year or so and leaching for production of various crops and vegetables. Pleurotus SMS has also been used for cultivation of eggplant, tomato, zucchini, etc. It is the ingredients of nursery or potting mixture and also used in landscape activities greenhouse crops, soil improvement, or reclamation, turf and lawns. Procedure of Compost Making To prepare compost, either a plastic or a concrete tank can be used. The size of the tank depends upon the availability of raw materials. Collect the biomass and place it under the sun for about 8 to 12 days. Now, prepare a cow dung slurry and sprinkle it on the heap for quick decomposition. Add a layer, about 2 to 3 inch, of soil or sand at the bottom of the tank. Now, prepare fine bedding by adding partially decomposed cow dung and mushroom waste or other waste if you have. Distribute them evenly on the sand layer. Continue adding both the mushroom waste and partially decomposed cow dung layer into the tank up to a depth of 0.5 to 1.0 feet. After adding all the bio wastes, release the earthworm species over the mixture and cover the compost mixture with dry straw or guinea bags. Sprinkle water on a regular basis to maintain the moisture content of the compost. Cover the tank with a thatch roof to prevent the entry of ants, lizards, mouse, snakes, etc. and protect the compost from rainwater and direct sunshine. Have a frequent check to avoid the compost from overheating. Maintain proper moisture and temperature. After the 24th day, around 4,000 to 5,000 new worms are introduced and the entire raw material is turned into the vermicompost.
This vermicompost can be used as manure during farming or gardening or can be further packed and sold in the market. It has a great demand in the market. I hope you liked the video. We shall keep posting about various crops and plants in the horticulture segment along with the mushroom video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do subscribe now. Also, you can join the upcoming free webinar on gardening and mushroom cultivation, the link is in the description.